Okay, so this study is by Anderson and Pitchert, and it was done in 1978, which you can see right here. Uh, the aim is to investigate if schema processing influences both encoding and retrieval. So encoding, remember, is when you're putting something into your memory, and retrieval, if you remember, is when you're getting it out of your memory, right? And by getting out, I mean using it, using that information for something. So basically what we have is we have a group of participants who are split into two groups, okay? Um, the first group is given the schema beforehand of house buyers. So they're going to hear a story of uh, describing, uh, you know, two boys who stayed home from school. And, they, and the story describes what was going on at the house or what, the, what types of details the house had. And the people hearing that were listening to it from the schema of house buyers, the second group of people uh, were listening to the story from the schema of a robber or a, a thief, okay? This is my thief outfit, like if, you, like if you were in jail, okay? So they both heard the story about the kids who stayed home and the description of the house, right? And in the description of the house, there were specific details, okay? Some of the details appealed more to maybe a house buyer, and some of the details appealed maybe more to a thief, okay? So a couple of those details would be rare coin collection, um, let's see, no one home on Thursdays, uh, leaky roof, damp basement. Okay, so if you had to connect which of those went with which, you'd kind of see that, oopsies, that was wrong color. You would see that the damp basement and the leaky roof kind of fit more with the house buyer, and the no one home on Thursdays and the rare coin collection obviously fit a little bit more with the schema of a burglar. So you might think that if you were given the schema of a burglar, you might remember more of the details of the rare coin collection, right? And if you were given the schema of the leaky roof, that would be a more important detail to you for, to remember if you were given the schema of a house buyer. All right, so let's recap a little bit. We've got the participants were split into two groups. Each one was given a different listening schema. Remember, we've got the schema of the house buyer, and then we've got the schema of the burglar, okay? And... They heard the same story with the details of the house, and after they heard those details of the house, they were given a 12-minute distraction task, um, just something to maybe get their attention um, so that all the uh, descriptions of the house weren't still super fresh in their memory. Then they were all given a recall test of the details. So what uh, details about the house do you, do you remember? Um, they wrote down all their answers, and then there was another five-minute delay, at which point half of the participants were given a new schema, right? So some of the people that started off with the house schema moved to, they said, we want you now to try to remember the story from the perspective of a burglar. And they told a bunch of other people, now we want you to try to remember more details about the house from the perspective of a house buyer. The other half of the participants stayed the same, okay, with the original schema, and then both groups retook uh, the recall test. All right, and what do we have for the results? Well, what they found was that people whose schemas were switched, so they started off hearing the story from the perspective of a burglar, they were told to recall the second time from the perspective of a house buyer and vice versa. They ended up recalling 7% more details on the second test, okay? So the switching of the schema helped improve their memories the second time around. Um, there was also a 10% 10, 10 increase in the words connected with the new schema. So if they were the burglar schema and then they were changed to the house buyer schema, 10, there was a 10% increase in details about the house, like the leaky roof and it was in a nice neighborhood and stuff like that. Um, let's see. One last thing is that the details remembered from the first schema decreased with the second schema with the switch. Um, if you had the same schema for the second recall test, basically you just remembered fewer details compared with the first recall test in general. So who cares? Why does it matter? Well, it proves that 
well, it doesn't prove, but it really strongly supports the idea that schema processing affects us both at the encoding, when we're putting information into our memories, and at the retrieval stage, when we're trying to recall that information later on.